WWE wrestlers can be kind of intimidating, not just because of their height and muscle mass, though that is definitely a factor. Some of them have terrifying personas, characters, and costumes that, when matched with their physical presence, makes them truly horrifying. But some of these scary wrestlers are actually just big teddy bears. These are scary WWE wrestlers who are nicer than you thought. Number 15. Bray Wyatt Fiend by name, but not by nature. Wyndham Lawrence Rotunda goes by the name of Bray Wyatt, or even more under the ring name of The Fiend. You would think that with such an evil show name, that under that long hair and huge beard would be a fiery devil ready to wrestle anyone to the ground. But no. Bray is an extremely nice family man and known for being one of the genuine nice guys in the wrestling business. Being a third generation following after his grandfather, Black Jack Mulligan, and his father, Mike Rotunda, he's a real family man with five children. As soon as he's out of the ring, he drops his persona of professional wrestler. There are a lot of stories on the internet of meeting him out of character and how sweet and caring he is. One mother of an autistic child who had been bullied tweeted how he had his Bray Wyatt shirt ripped by bullies. Guess what? The Fiend tweeted straight back and sent him a new shirt saying, tell him I got his six. Despite his grueling schedule, he takes a lot of time to meet with his fans, children, underprivileged and disabled fans, and soldiers. Fiends are not always evil. In this case, it's just a big teddy bear under a WWE costume. Like this video, smash the subscribe button and click the notification bell right now or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 14. Brock Lesnar As terrifying as Brock is inside the ring and in front of the cameras, in real life, he's a sweetheart. He loves his family and enjoys spending time with them, and he hates taking his private life public. He is a total family man and also a farm boy. He spends most of his time in his farm in Saskatchewan. He loves animals and working on his farm. He's very soft-spoken as well, a true gentle giant. But what we know about him is very little due to his public disdain for the media. Seven up-and-coming fighters. Uh, that want a UFC uh, contract. Although we do know that at the beginning of his career, he fell victim to addiction to both alcohol and painkillers. That's rough. Apparently you cut yourself off from the media and the only thing we do know about you is the bad stuff. As a result, he doesn't remember a full two years of his life and he apparently learned his lesson and won't touch the stuff again. At the end of the day, Brock Lesnar is a wrestler, not an aggressive guy. He enjoys his privacy over all things and his home in the middle of the woods. He once said that he came from nothing and at any moment he can go back to having nothing. So he appreciates every day of his life through that philosophy. Number 13. Undertaker the Undertaker is the absolute most dreaded character in the pro wrestling industry. He buries people alive, destroys his opponents mercilessly, and has an ever-growing collection of all the souls of his opponents. He is arguably the biggest figure in the wrestling world. Pretty scary stuff. But in real life, he is the coolest guy. The Taker has a great sense of humor and everyone around him says he is extremely humble. Starstruck maybe? What is, what's this? An ostrich? He helps everyone out that needs a hand, be it in the industry or out in the world. He is also absolutely passionate about what he does. He's even been seen going out on the ring with broken ribs and coughing up blood. And not fake, real blood. His commitment to his craft is unprecedented, and that's simply because he loves and respects what he does, which is rare for someone of that stature. Usually people that reach the legendary status, they sit back and enjoy the fame, but not the taker. He works hard every day to bring to the fans what they deserve, which is good quality wrestling. And although he is wrestling royalty, he has no issue passing along the torch, if the person deserves it, of course. He isn't clinging desperately to his golden days like many others would. Number 12. Randy Orton 
Randy Norton is a 12-time world champion from Knoxville, Tennessee, and he's known for being the most friendly and approachable WWE wrestler of all time. He makes people feel good about themselves and is very good at encouraging others. That's why he attracts people from all walks of life and from every corner of the world. He absolutely adores his dog. And, I mean, nobody that's nice to dogs can be that bad. He also enjoys the occasional twerk when he thinks nobody's watching. He is the prankster king with his partner as well, and sometimes to his kids. He is an unusual family man. Get him! There's always laughter and jokes flying around his house. He has a great sense of humor. His wife says he puts his children's needs before his own. And he, even if he isn't a very good singer, he is a great guy. So don't listen to the haters out there and say the contrary. If you ever cross paths with Randy, go say hello and you'll see how kind he is. Number 11. Ronda Rousey Ronda Rousey is amazing at everything she does, especially if you haven't seen her act. In 2008, she was the first woman in American history to win an Olympic medal. After that, she started her professional career as a professional wrestler, but she also conquered the entertainment world. She had roles in movies like The Expendables and Fast and Furious 7. She's even published an autobiography called My Fight, Your Fight in 2015. She's done it all. But what she enjoys the most is the good life she built with her husband on their farm. They even keep chickens. Their goal is to live one day in a completely sustainable and self-sufficient property. Go green, Rhonda. Only really humble people would rather have a house like that while having millions of dollars in their bank accounts. She's a very simple girl that enjoys the simple things in life, like a nice plate of fried eggs in the morning. She's a real housewife sometimes. She enjoys cooking and taking care of herself and her husband. We tend to think that wrestlers are all hype all the time, but Rhonda's a very calm and hardworking woman, and she deserves the respect she has coming her way. Number 10. Goldberg Goldberg, the man, didn't become the first and only undefeated WWE World Champion by being a nice guy. But it turns out, he is exactly that in real life. He is a big advocate for animal welfare and a former ASPCA spokesperson. He takes time out of his very busy schedule to do his part in protecting animals, which, from my point of view, is very sweet, and not many famous people do that. He is very interactive with his fans as well. You can't say that about all WWE legends. He always stops and says hello and tries to answer any questions he can. Business went completely, it was second, it was back door. It wasn't my concern. He respects people enough to do so, and he knows that he wouldn't be where he is if it wasn't thanks to the fans as well as for his hard work. And honoring his Jewish background, he has a very good sense of humor, famously eternalized by his sketch at the old Comedy Central program where he plays his WWE character only celebrating Hanukkah. So, as you can see, Goldberg is a multi-dimensional WWE bad guy. Number 9. Braun Strowman Braun Strowman is a very nice guy now, but he wasn't always. He even said once that, in his opinion, to become a really, really good guy, one has to go through the phase of being a bad guy. It's not the path everyone takes in life, but it worked for him, so who's to criticize? If the way takes you where he wanted to go, then it was the right way to go. And he did get there, by all means. He's super open-minded about everything. He didn't know anything at all about India or Bollywood before traveling there, and he loved it. He even said he was honored to have had the chance to see all the country had to offer. Whereas lots of people would be obnoxious about a different culture, he wasn't. And in a way, he's not wrong that people who work hard to better themselves carry a different sense of achievement than the people for who it comes naturally. So so nowadays, Braun is a big cuddly teddy bear, but watch out nonetheless, because he's still one of the strongest people around. Number 8. Kane Glenn Jacobs, also known as Kane, is hands down the most surprising individual of the WWE behind camera. 
He was born just outside of Madrid, Spain, at a U.S. military facility where his father was stationed at the time. When he went back to America with his family, he attended university on a basketball scholarship where he earned a degree in, wait for it, English literature. He then started working on a group home for the mentally challenged, and that's when a co-worker encouraged him to pursue a career in professional wrestling. So he isn't just a super nice guy, he's a well-educated super nice guy. Uh, and he can also crush your skull with his bare hands, but you already knew that. He is also always very polite with his fans and takes the time to take a picture or sign an autograph. He got so involved in his community that he even ran for office in March 2017. He often gives speeches to support or condone various causes. Oh, and I just checked his Wikipedia page. Apparently, Kane is the mayor of Knox County, Tennessee. He also visits children with terminal diseases in the hospital. He certainly isn't your regular WWE character. He has his hands in many pies, and he genuinely cares about people. Number 7. Chris Jericho Chris Jericho is very well known for his love of helping others, and his favorite way of doing that is by outspokenly helping wrestlers that might need a hand for any reason. When I was a kid, uh, every time at the wrestling matches during intermission. A very clear example of this is when Timothy Rex King Smith died back in 2017. His family started a GoFundMe asking for $2,500 to pay for his funeral, and Chris immediately paid the entire amount out of his pocket. He seems to give money away without any problem to people who need it most. He's always contributed to numerous charities, but in particular to the one called Quantum Leap Foundation, a charity that helps people with mental and physical disabilities by involving them in equine activities. Another charity he's very involved with is the Sunshine Foundation, which caters to the last wishes of terminally or seriously ill children. If it wasn't for his WWE characters, you would think Chris is Santa in disguise. In any case, Jericho is an outstanding human being outside the ring, and he deserves all the respect in the world for all the good work he does. Number 6. CM Punk Phil Brooks, also known as CM Punk, isn't just a worldwide famous WWE wrestler. He's also an advocate for good nutrition, and especially for children. He says that teaching kids how to eat correctly from a young age is very important so that they can start counting calories and stay healthy and well-nourished. He's very involved in charities that help kids, and he even auctioned his first car to donate the profits to charity. It was a 2001 Chevy with 143,000 miles on it. Another time, when his friend and wrestler Joey Mercury was going through very hard times financially and was about to lose his house, Punk saved the day by paying the entire six-figure amount out of his pocket. He also helped him overcome his drug addiction and got him back on his feet. You could say that's not bad for a guy who makes a living by kicking the crap out of people. But hey, that's punk. All tough on the outside and a sweetheart on the inside. I guess you never can judge a book by its cover. Number 5. Natalia Neidhart Natalia Neidhart is not known for being a clean wrestler. Actually, she's made a name for herself as being quite the dirty fighter and bad talker. It's a WrestleMania weekend tradition, the night before WrestleMania. The but in real life, she's the total opposite of the villain we see inside the ring. She went to Rwanda to spend time at the United Nations camp to help the people in need and hand out malaria nets to stop the epidemic that's still killing thousands of people in Africa. So this WWE wrestler literally saves people's lives. And now that she's back in the United States, she's still involved in a charity set to raise money and continue the fight against malaria. She is unstoppable when it comes to helping people. It's not every day that you find out a celebrity does so much for the ones in need like Natalia Neidhart. She also loves animals and advocates for their welfare every chance she gets. Even though she says to be a slow learner, she's certainly come a long way in her career as well as in her life. I wish a lot more famous people were like her. The world would be such a better place to live in. Number 4. Vince McMahon Vince McMahon might be one of the scariest people in the WWE industry, but he's not a wrestler, he is the owner of the WWE. 
He has a reputation of being cold, ruthless, and calculative. But those people have no idea what they're talking about. And if they disagree, I invite them to take a closer look at all the charity work Vince McMahon does every single year. If you don't know what a person does or is like, you shouldn't go around criticizing, in my opinion. He dedicates himself to helping others relentlessly, but his good nature also goes for the people close to him. He is a great father and husband, and his fans adore him because he respects and loves them back. You only need to look at his charming smile to realize he's one of the good guys. Not just only a good guy, but an excellent one at that. He's created a world where people go for entertainment and to escape their own lives and problems. He's helping people every single day by doing that. How people can still think he's a bad person is beyond me. Number 3. Alistair Black Alistair Black is the kind of wrestler that can terrify a man by only looking at him. But did you know he is a genuine nice guy? He once, before he was internationally famous, actually asked a fan to take a pic with him because the fan was wearing an Alistair Black t-shirt and he wanted to show his mother he had a fan. Isn't that just jam in the jar sweet? He has said that the stage character wasn't really an invention, but that the character is him. He was an outcast when he was growing up, and now he wants to be an example for all the kids out there who are being bullied. I like to switch every 30 seconds, so if I do a minute, that means that there's only once. He even went so far as to offer his help to a 12-year-old boy with special needs. The kid was in a video showing him being abused and attacked by some bullies. And the next day, there was another video. This time, the kid was attacked by two other boys in the school bathroom. Next thing you know, Alistair Black is organizing a talk in that school to address bullying. He also set up two hashtags, hashtag stand with Raiden and hashtag fight for the forgotten. But he didn't stop there. He then created a campaign, Be a Star, that promotes tolerance and understanding amongst all people, but particularly amongst kids. Number 2. Andre the Giant if there ever was a gentle giant, that has to be Andre the Giant. He stood over 7 feet tall and he weighed 500 pounds, but it was all good vibes and love with him. He was incredibly well liked by everybody and he was mourned by the entire world when he died prematurely at age 46. He made his name in Hollywood too, appearing in the underground classic The Princess Bride. He was so big he would eat 20 burgers one after the other and wash them down with 20 pints of beer, of course. He truly was a larger than life character. They even called him the eighth wonder of the world. He had the best sense of humor too. One time in first class on a plane, he asked the stewardess for a screwdriver, you know, the drink, but she brought him back an actual Black & Decker screwdriver and he jokingly said to her, what would you have brought me if I'd said a Bloody Mary? The internet is swirling with people sharing their Andre story, and they are all true. Help me pay my rent one time. He was a genuine, kind person, and it's sad that he had to leave this world so early in his life. Number 1. The Great Kali the Great Kali is an Indian-born American professional wrestler, and during lockdown, he shared his famously delicious chicken recipes on the internet so people could brighten their days a little bit. It's a gesture, but it helps. He also is a very religious man. He meditates every single day. He has never touched either alcohol or tobacco, and he is a vegetarian. Although, he corrected himself later and said he enjoys vegetarian food, but eats vast amounts of chicken. I mean, it'd be pretty difficult to keep his weight otherwise. He comes from a very underprivileged background, and so he understands the value of hard work. He used to be a road worker, and he seems to remember exactly where he comes from. He lives every day being thankful for what he has and that gives him a very kind nature that is very unlike his ring persona. Even if he looks super scary and aggressive, that's because he suffers from a condition called acromegaly that causes gigantism and also a very protuberant chin. But despite his looks, he is genuinely a very nice guy. He is a great husband and a great father to his daughter, and he has always publicly said that they are an absolute priority in his life. 
As you can see, it is possible to look incredibly scary and to make a living by beating people up, but not be a bad person. And not only that, you can still be a great human being. At the end of the day, wrestling is also acting, and the pros create characters. So after knowing all the good deeds they do, which one is your favorite? Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.